I also like how you capture behind the scenes. So I'm curious about that. How, did you pitch that to say like, hey, is it cool if I also film this and use it on my channel? Because I think you're adding oh, to the oh, awareness. Oh, no, sir, I did not. You did it. All right, that, respect. Because <laughs> no. I know that that so, can be tough. Yeah, I just did it. I was like, you know, and it comes into this social, like the thing you mentioned at, at the top of the show when you're like, oh, you're attacking social. Like I think in 2017, I made the conscious decision to use social, to approach social like an aspect of my career. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is now, this isn't so much sort of like fun and with my friends and let me kind of post some stuff. I'm like, this is a, 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 a quarter of my career. This is my marketing. This is my promotion. I am looking at this like it's a, a facet of my job and I'm going to work on this just as much as I sit down and edit. I'm going to sit down and like plan and like figure out what I'm doing on social. And so it, I don't know, I don't know where, I don't know where I got the idea from. I mean, the idea in itself is like, oh, shoot behind the scenes. It's like, okay, th that's common. You know what I mean? Um, but then it just sort of like, I think I, I think I had, I think for one of the Oscars, I had the producer taking some behind the scenes photos on her phone. Like if it was someone dope, I'd be like, hey, can you like snap a couple pictures of like me working with whoever? And so she would, and then I think one of them, she like took, she's like, oh, I got a video too. And I cut the behind the scenes, that video with the, the end result. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like you see the real time and then you see the result. Like that's kind of cool. Um, and I think the next year I was like, oh, I should, I should like have a thing so I can film all of them. And I set up a, a little rig with like different cameras. I had like an RX100 and like a GoPro 5 and like some other random thing. Um, and I shot like a bad version of the behind the scenes. And then from then it slowly evolved into like what it is now where I have like a whole kit with like multiple GoPros with like, like articulating arms that clamp onto things. And like my, I'm like mic'd up. So it's like a whole thing now. Um, but in short, no, no, there's no BTS person. It's just you literally no, setting up rigs. It's just, I mount, I mount all of the GoPro cameras on the lighting trusses and, uh. and the rigs and stuff. Um, and I just, I, I record them all, I sync it and I edit it, but I, I never asked if I could do it. I just sort of did it and like sort of asked for forgiveness, not for permission, but it's like, it's done well for them. You know what I mean? It's like, it's really like the, the final product glam bots like do okay on socials, but I think, you know, the, the behind the scenes outperform those of course. quite significantly. So I think they're like stoked. And, and since then we've like talked about like, what I should be doing, like as far they want to make sure they have presence, like E has presence, so I make sure I always have the bug on there. I make sure I always tag them, which is great. I mean, it's that's how it should be, and I'm happy to. Um, but it's just sort of like, I, I think they're kind of like, oh, this is good for us, you know what I mean? So let's just keep it all going. Everybody's everybody's happy, kind of a thing. Thanks for listening to this clip. Make sure to listen to the full interview, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Hit the subscribe button for more highlights and join our Black Window Cream private community for creators. Links in the description.